Hey there, John with Off Grid Homesteading. Okay, continuing on the project. We, if you saw on the other video uh, just a second ago, uh, we ended up having to um, remeasure. We ended up having to remeasure after uh, getting our square and everything done because um, on the type of measuring tape you have on the, on the real tape, um, the hook, uh, I'll take a picture of it and actually put it on here. There's a little hook in there that you put around the rebar and then you can pull the tape out and Kelly was actually wrapping it around it so we're off by an inch all the way around so uh, we had to start all over again but let me show you what it looks like now that it's done um, so let me go up a little bit higher there you go so you can see the corners so we're gonna come That one foot off the trailer, our water line actually comes through here and then comes up this way and then up into this little tube and then into the trailer over here. So I got to make sure that when we dig this hole here I'm completely missing our water line otherwise we'll be dealing with uh, some <laughs> water leak issues again. Uh, so anyway, over there, we're going. We're probably going to um, drill this one, drill the corner posts. So this one here, this one here. Uh, we'll probably do this one here. The, the, all, the, all the perimeter ones, except the uh, the center one, which is going to bridge between the seven foot here and the seven foot in the center. We're going to just probably put a, uh, sla a concrete slab here in the center, and then we'll build that up. And we have a 20-foot beam that's going to go directly from here to the other side just to give it a little bit extra support. Um, and then your, the 2x10, uh, the 2x10s are going to go right here. Uh, actually, they're 2 by 10 by 14 so one, one whole run directly here. And then 2x10 uh, by, by 14 so the 14 is going to end right there. So post is going to bridge this 14 all the way to that 14 so that's going to be 28 feet long this is the end of the building right here um, and then this is going to be the end of the deck uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, measure all the way out to here so this 14 to that 14 will be you'll have a, a board sticking out and another board coming this way and a board coming this way for our deck that we'll do at a separate point after this build but then we'll have another um, 2 by 10 by 14 that'll go right here this one section and uh, to basically drill these two holes here I'm uh, gonna have to push the uh, put the bump out in and the problem with the bump out is over time this corner down here has gotten rotted so I actually have to jack that up and put a car battery onto the main battery and then use that to pull the bump out in and then we can drill those two holes, put the posts in, but we're probably going to have to, we're going to have to tear this bump out out um, after we, we do the build, or maybe I can do a concrete uh, slab here or something like that. Um, anywho, let me see. Yeah, you know what, I think that needed to be at 14 foot, not at, two. that's 14, yeah, that's right, so 14 and then 28 is over there so yeah that's okay everything's fine we are good so this section here is going to be an 8 foot by 14 foot deck so we'll actually come in probably come up I'm not sure where we're going to do the stairs whether it's going to be on that side or this side or some combination of and then we're going to come into a door uh, basically right here uh, is going to be a doorway um, and then we'll probably make this a screened in uh, patio um, once this deck is built um, this building will eventually be moved somewhere else it'll probably be over there by the trailer but then uh, so anyway this will be deck that's going to be the room and then bump out will be uh, torn down removed we're going to put a two by four um, basically right here along this spot on the wall and then we're going to build a frame uh, about a foot frame that's going to bridge the building to the trailer and then we're going to bolt 
the uh, building framing into the framing on here. Um, that way we can easily simply just unbolt around the perimeter and then um, we can uh, basically tear out that one little one foot section and then uh, remove the trailer when we're done with it and we're getting ready to build the house. So anyway, that is, that's kind of the update for the weekend of uh, it's October 26th, October 26th, uh, 2017. Um, let me just, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video and then I'll show you around here in just a minute. Okay, bye.